guys. So today, we're gonna be in one of the most probably hated cars on the internet slash the world. Now, many people are always saying, dude, the PT Cruiser sucks. They call it the PT Loser. But I'm gonna show you guys today why the PT Loser is actually the best car ever. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys why I love the PT Loser. Now, my mom has had this car for about like 13 years. Like, this car has been with me since I've been in elementary school. Like, my mom's always driven me to and from school, from like elementary to like high school, and then I finally got my car and I could finally drive. So this car has been with me forever, since I was a kid. I learned how to drive on this car, so this car has always had a special place in my heart. So I'm gonna show you guys why this car is actually a lot better than everyone else makes it seem to be. So, let's go. You know what I like about the PT Cruiser? The simplicity. You know what, look, look, let's look at the air condition. First off, look at this. We got, we got just four switches, boy. That's all we need. All right, look, we got, we got, you want more wind or less wind? Actually, this is more wind too, but you know, this is AC. All right, you got, where do you want it to go? You want it feet, head, head and feet, or just head, you know? Or right, do you want it to be hot or cold? Blue or red, blue or red. That's how, that's how you decide on this car. Oh, and uh, you know this thing, uh, air come in, air, you know, I don't know, I forget what that does. But that's what I like about this car, simple. See, in, in new cars like my BRZ, we don't have that simplicity. We have like these new climate control, you gotta, you gotta choose what number you want it. This car is simple, you just, blue or red, blue or red, that's why I like it, simple as that. You know, you know what else is simple about this car? The radio, look at this, all you gotta do, turn it up, and you got one, two, three, four, five, that's all you got. If you want, you pick a station, seek, not none of that. You don't gotta worry about choosing all those different stations. You just you know pick one, whatever's on there. You, that's all you got. That's why I like it. Simple. You know another good thing about the PT Cruiser, you can't even change the clock without having a toothpick or a pencil because you literally you literally cannot touch these buttons unless you have like a small utensil. So whenever you have one of these cars, you have to make sure you keep something small like this so you can change the time and you can just you know press this right here. Oh, there you go and change the time. Without that, you wouldn't be able to change the time. So that's just a great engineering opportunity that Chrysler thought of. Like, hey, let's make it so people can't change the time of the clock without having a really small utensil. So that's something I like about Chrysler. You know, they're thinking ahead of the time. Good thing about the PT Cruiser is you got a good old fashioned automatic gearbox. Look at this, you got a park, reverse, neutral drive, three one. See, a good old Prindle. That's what I like about this car, good old fashioned automatic gearbox. Now you would think, you know, you wanna, ro you wanna roll down your window, you know, you would think it'd be by the door right here. But it's not, in the PT Cruiser they're like, let's make it different, let's put it in the middle of the console. And that's why I like the PT Cruiser, cause you don't gotta reach over, you know, you have your hand over here while you're driving, you're just chilling right here, and you're like, hey, I'm gonna roll down the window, no. You don't gotta worry about that, cause now you can just reach all the way over here instead, and roll down, you know, you can just roll down all four windows at once, cause you know, they're all right here, just go straight, whoop, and you just roll down all the windows. That's why I like the PT Cruiser, they're thinking ahead of the game. All right, a lot of people say the PT Cruiser doesn't get girls. But I'm gonna show you guys that the PT Cruiser does get girls. I'll be right back, give me one second. All right, so one thing about the PT Cruiser is that my BRZ can't do, you can take dogs. Look at this. Lulu, come here. Hey. See, we got a dog. Girls love dogs. So PT Cruisers actually do get girls because with a PT Cruiser, you can drive a dog around and dogs get girls. So it's just basic math. So that's another thing about PT Cruisers that just makes them great. They're just great chick magnets. Just get a dog and you can put them in your PT Cruiser and you're all set to go. See, look, perfect for dogs. Let's go. Come on, Lulu. Jump. Jump. Oh, what are you doing? You're good. See? You're good. See? Made perfectly for dogs. Look, you even got this whole thing right here that my parents bought for dogs, but you know, good thing for dogs. PT Cruisers. Another good thing about this car is if you want to adjust your mirrors, you have to use this. But if you want to adjust it on the other side, you have to reach all the way over here and do the same thing. See, that's some good engineering. Let's go take it out for a spin. You hear that? Good old fashioned key. That's why I like keys. Something about a whole old key, you know, you just kind of stick it in and turn it. It's like bringing the car to life. It's kind of like the heart. Like the key is the heart and you just kind of turn it on. 
You don't get that with a bunch of new cars. See, a new bunch of new cars, they just, you know, push the start, it turns on. There's no fun in that. This car has an old-fashioned key. And one good thing, one good thing about the PT Cruiser right here, old-fashioned key. Let's go. We got old-fashioned autom automatic transmission. We're, we're going reverse. Look, perfect viewing. I can see everything out the back of this car. I can see everything. So one good thing about the PT Cruiser, it blends in. See, no one really notices the PT Cruiser when you're driving. See, when I drive my BRZ, I got a really big wing and stuff, and everyone's always looking at you. This car, it's like I'm invisible. No one can see me. I'm like a ninja. I like to call this car the, the ninja in the night, or the ninja in the day, I should say, because no one can see you, dude. You're just invisible. You're just like, everyone's like, oh, it's just probably like an old lady driving this car. Nah, boy, it's me. What are you gonna do? You get pulled over in this car? What's the cop gonna say? Like, bro, I caught you speeding, and you're just, you just tell him, you just tell him this. You'd be like, I'm in a PT Cruiser, and the cop's gonna be like, oh shit, you're right, my bad, it's my mistake. And then he's just gonna be like, my bad, I'm, I'm sorry for wasting your time, he's gonna leave. Cause like, who speeds in a PT Cruiser? Come on guys. The one good thing about this car is, when I'm at a stop, and I have the AC on, the car starts shaking rapidly. Like it just starts shaking aggressively. Like you cannot have the AC on on this car while at a stop. You have to turn the AC off or else the car will turn off. So that's the one good thing about this car. It's just good ingenuity right there. Like you cannot have the AC on at a stop. You just have to turn it off. It just keeps you, it just keeps you open with the world. Like, hey, is it hot outside? Yeah, it's really hot outside. You know, you just feel it. Some good engineering right here. That's why I like Chrysler. They engineered this car very well. Another nice thing about this car is the seats. These are seats are super comfortable. Like my car, my car is really low, and then the seats are really tight. This these seats are perfect for anybody, any size, and they have these armrests. I love it. You just sit here, relax. It's like you can do whatever you want, dude. Driving this car is like going to the movies. Like it's it's just a nice, comfortable seat. Well, it depends on what movie theater you go. I mean, you might go to a bad movie theater, but you know, if you go to a good one, they have those good seats. That's what it's like. You know, these seats are perfect. Better than Recaro, 100%. I, I would I would pay for these seats. Handling in this car, perfect as well. This steering wheel, probably the best steering wheel I've ever had in my life. Like this is a nice big steering wheel. Like no matter where my hand is, the steering wheel is gonna be there. I can put my hand all the way over here, still have steering wheel, dude. So it's it's just it's just something Chrysler thought of. It's like, hey, let's make a really big steering wheel so like no matter where the person's hand is, they can have control. So I can put my hand like I'm I'm just chilling, dude. I'm just like chilling right here. My hand's at the, like on my lap and the wheel is right next to me. So like I just always have my steering wheel. Genius. Chrysler, good on you. Good on you, Chrysler. Another thing I like about this car is the sound. Like, have you guys heard it? Let me see if we can hear this. Man, it's like a good wine. This car is basically just a supercharger. Like, that's what it is. It's just a supercharger wine. Like, that's what you get with this car. It just wines for you. I love it. Perfect noise. You don't have to worry about the road. Like, when I drive my car, I have to, like, dodge all these potholes and everything. This car, no worries. You just go. Like, oh, there's a pothole? It's okay. It's a PT Cruiser. Why? Like, it's not a big deal, you know? It's like, you don't have to be careful. Like, if you buy an expensive car or something, you gotta be like, you always, like, have to be careful with it. You're like, oh, man, I don't wanna, like, I don't wanna damage my car or anything. This car, you're like, eh, it's fine. You know, it's, it's not. Like, the damage is, like, you're adding value to the car at that point. The car handles like a beast. I'm telling you guys. Body roll everywhere. And, and like, if you're not having body roll while driving, then that's not even, you're not even having fun at that point. Like, if your car's not about to tip over, then, then what are you doing? Like, if your car's just always flat on the floor, there's no, there's no drama. This car is all drama. This car is all, oh man, I might tip over and die. Oh man, it's this, I, it's this drama. And that's why it's, I like it. Brakes, phenomenal. You have to brake at least five minutes before everyone else or else you will go into the person in front of you. Like these brakes are so old that you just have to like brake super far away. Like if, if you have to have a sudden brake and there's a car in front of you, you will go straight into them. So brakes on this car phenomenal. It keeps you on the edge. It keeps you it keeps you aware. If you're, You have to be focused 100% while driving this car. Like other cars, you drive them, you get distracted, you like listen to music. This car, no. 100% you have to be focused or else you will go into the car in front of you. That's why I like it. Keeps you keeps you focused on the road. See, Chrysler thought of that. PT Cruiser is a driver's car. It's actually a driver's car. What about this car is it takes off. See, a lot of people are like, this car's slow. 
this car actually takes off pretty well. Like, it's honestly pretty fast and ridiculous. How fast it takes off. The only problem is after you get to like 60 miles an hour, you don't go much faster than that. But getting there, not a problem. But once you get there, eh, you'll have some problems. If a guy like on a bike tries to race you, uh, just, just don't do it. And I'm not talking about like a motorcycle, I'm talking about like a bike. If a guy on like a bicycle like tries to race you, just like let him win. You, you got the win. Like, honestly, don't do it. You'll lose. I'm kidding. But don't do it. <laughs> you can hear everything in the car. Like if there's, some, if there's an issue in this car, you will hear it. And then you will, you will know where to fix it. That's why I like it. Like whenever there's an issue, you will hear it. If you don't fix it, you're just gonna hear like constant rattling, like I do right now. There's a rattle somewhere, but you will hear the issue. I guarantee you. Keeps you, keeps you, keeps you, keeps you one with the vehicle. We just passed an M4. See you later, chopped PT Cruiser, 100%. Oh, now he's mad, boy. He got behind me, boy. You ain't passing me. I'm a PT Cruiser, boy. I'm going slow now. Oh, dude, I just saw another PT Cruiser. Squad up, boy. Saw an old lady drive that thing. That's squad right there. Squad goals, everybody should have a PT Cruiser. All right, boys. We're about to turn on to this back road right here, and we're gonna about to unleash the, the, unleash the demon that is the PT Cruiser. Man, this car just got in front of us. I don't, I'm gonna let him go for a little bit because we're gonna catch up really fast, so I'm gonna let this boy go real quick. All right, let's go now. I have to give him enough time. Let's unleash the demon. Let's see that zero to 60 time. bad well, that's why I like this car like in my car like I can choose what gear I want to be in and I can like choose when I want power and when I don't this car this car doesn't let you choose this car chooses it is for you that's why I like it this car chooses the best for itself so this car is in control not you so you just let the car drive this is like like you let the car drives you you don't drive the car that's why I like it you know, the car drives you. It's just, it's just let the the car knows what's best. The Chrysler made this. They, they, they engineered this with the best in mind. So this car knows what is what's best for it. So this car will drive the way it wants to drive. Like I, I'm stepping on the gas, it doesn't go because the car knows what's best for it. That's that's why this car is special. This engineering is just phenomenal. I can't believe the engineers like. They need to get a reward for this car. The PT Cruiser, best car. Honestly, it should have won best car of the year every single year because it's just so phenomenal. I think I think I don't even think they let it in the competition, honestly, for best car of the year because it's so good. Every other car will get knocked out of the water. Ridiculous. Man, we killed that back road like it was nothing. Like I don't know if you guys just noticed that, but that that back road ended like that. Ridiculous. It's just like when you just drive this car, it's just, everything's just fast for you. Like, it, you're just fast. Alright, so that was a review of the PT Loser. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, hit the like button if you liked it, and at least some comments down below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, and if you guys uh, want to keep seeing my videos, you can subscribe. Uh, see you guys next week then. Bye. Never, never thought I'd say that, you know. Let go of the brake and you start rolling forward. Automatics, bro.